In the 20 years since 9-11, the U.S. has spent over $2 trillion on the war in Afghanistan. That's $300 million per day, every day, for two decades. Or $50,000 for every person in Afghanistan's population of 40 million. You could also look at it this way. America has spent more trying to keep the Taliban at bay than the net worths of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and the 30 richest billionaires in America all put together. $800 billion was allocated to direct war fighting costs. $85 billion was spent to train the Afghan military, which ended up folding and surrendering in the weeks since the Pentagon closed Bagram Air Force Base in July. This effectively removed American air support against the Taliban. $750 million a year was allocated to salaries for Afghan soldiers. And then there's the human cost. 47,000 Afghan civilians dead. 69,000 Afghan security forces. Over 3,500 coalition troops, 2,500 of them U.S. military personnel. 4,000 U.S. contractors. Figures for dead opposition fighters are estimated at around 51,000. The cost so far to care for the 20,000 Americans wounded in the conflict has been about $300 billion, with another half trillion or so expected to come. The United States financed the war with borrowed money. Researchers at Brown University estimate more than $500 billion in interest has already been paid. They think that by 2050, the cost of interest alone on our Afghan war debt could reach $6.5 trillion. That equals about $20,000 for every U.S. citizen.